welcome to our Hawaii home tour. Let's get started. I'm going to start with inside of the house and then I'll show you the garden tour update after that. After opening our front door, the first thing you'll see is Elvis's Christmas tree drawings that he proudly hung himself. We recently remodeled our kitchen and if you've been watching our videos for a while, you've probably noticed a big improvement. We spend the majority of our time in the kitchen and living room together when we are at home, so it's really nice to have such a cozy and comfortable space to hang out together now. And we finally have proper shelving for our produce, which gives us the space to cut, chop, and use the table together as a family. like before we remodeled it. A couple of the appliances had major cracks in them when we bought the home or didn't work properly and there was an extra door in our house which didn't really make sense to us since our home is about 800 square feet not very big so it was kind of a waste of space. So we knocked down some pointless walls and got rid of the extra door to open it up. Had a kitchen island put in made out of concrete, got a country sink and added in space for a new window which we are still waiting for the window to arrive. Same fridge as always nothing new here. Our contractor was so awesome that after getting to know us, he realized how much we care and work towards being eco-friendly, that he took extra care to recycle and reuse as many of the materials from the original space as he could to integrate back into the house. Like how he took the old flooring material and made a shower floor slab out of it for an outdoor shower area. The new floors we got are tile floors that look like wood, and I'm in love with these floors so much, which I got at Ceramic Tile Plus in Kahalui, Maui. I'm so happy with this store, not only because of the quality and care that goes into their products, but also because of their customer service. I've been into Ceramic Tile Plus a bunch of times over the year for when we redid the kitchen and our bathroom as well, so I wanted to share with those living on Maui to check out Ceramic Tile Plus for flooring and cabinetry if you're remodeling your home. Service is outstanding, timely, and always friendly, and I'm super happy with everything I've gotten at the store. I've partnered up with them, so if you're living in Maui, use this discount code over the next year when you come into Ceramic Tile Plus to get 20% off your purchase. When I filmed this video, it was right before Christmas, so a couple of Elvis's presents for Sandy, Daddy, and me were already under the tree that he wrapped by himself. And this picture is one of my favorites of me and Elvis when he was one years old. In the living room, we also have a coat rack, which mainly gets used for beach towels and vegan canvas bags by In the Soul Shine. And there's normally one or two cane spiders hanging out in our house as well. They are big but harmless, and I actually find them kind of endearing. We just leave them be, and they leave us be too. The first door down the hall is our bathroom, which the boys take lots of bubble baths in. We got the cabinet at Ceramic Tile Plus and used it as a vanity, then put regular tiles on top as the counter space to save money instead of investing in a big slab of granite that was out of our budget. I also recently switched to bar soap to wash our hands instead of bottled soap, which I'm loving because it avoids the plastic containers and works just as good. I really love these old wooden shutters in the hallway. Next up, we enter the boys' room. <laughs> Sandy, could you play the car somewhere else, not on the computer? No. Will you pick him up and I'll move the computer and then you can play it right there? Thank you. There, is that better? Oh, 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 oh,
garden tour video earlier this year, so check it out if you want to see how much it's transformed in just the last 10 months. As you can see, we have lots of banana plants in our yard, and they are doing so well. We have all different varieties like apple bananas and Cuban red bananas. We also have some red lady and exotica papaya plants, and a few are starting to flower. Next to the papayas, we planted many gardens with red rushing kale, dill, pigeon pea, and these beautiful Mexican flowers, which help bring butterflies and bees to pollinate the plants. Our Fairchild mango tree is doing amazing as well. It has grown a lot in the last year, and this is by far my favorite in our garden that I'm looking forward to enjoy in our future, which probably won't be for a few years though. In the corner, Andrew planted a banana circle where he dug a pit and planted a few bananas around it. We add compost to the pit which feeds the bananas nutrients and it's really good for the soil. So far we have three garden beds filled with two different kinds of arugula, red Russian kale, dino kale, tomatoes, peppers, daikon radish, Okinawan spinach, and we recently planted some cassava and Tongan spinach. As time goes on we're finding what veggies grow best in the area we live in. European lettuces like romaine, green leaf, and butter lettuce don't grow well in the climate we're in, but the tropical greens like Tongan spinach, katuk, and moringa do great. We planted some katuk about five months ago and it's it's thriving. We also have basil which is doing great. This is our white sapote tree. If you don't know what white sapote is, it's a fruit that tastes like a creamy custardy pear. We also have a kahalu avocado tree which is doing much better than it was six months ago. Our friend David helped us plant comfrey around our trees which needed some love to break up the soil so the roots could grow easier. A few months later plus a lot of rain and our trees started doing so much better. We add a ton of mulch, wood chips, and homemade veggie compost to our garden. Well, I say we, but Andrew does all the gardening work. I just thank him with back massages afterwards. This same day, we planted three baby coconut trees as well, which I'm pretty sure are the last trees we're going to plant and have space for. Lastly, we have loads of lilikoi, also called passion fruit. We only planted three small lilikoi starts a little over a year ago, and they have taken over our entire fence. We pick about 10 lilikoi a day off the ground and give away whatever we don't eat to friends. We like to add lilikoi to smoothies, add on top of fresh papaya, and even frozen banana ice cream. This is our compost that Andrew made with my dad when he was visiting the island. Composting is super easy guys. We just add our fruits and veggie scraps and skins to the pile and add a layer of cardboard, paper, or mulch in between each dump. It doesn't smell bad because it's composting properly. All it needs is some ventilation and the proper mix of wet scraps to dry scraps and it'll create healthy compost for your garden. So that's it for our Hawaii home and garden tour. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at, at Ellen Fisher for more pregnancy updates and shares about my life and what I'm inspired by. I post more frequently on Instagram so I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Did you see that? Did I felt that? it too. You felt it? Mm -hmm. <laughs>